In Student Council, you will be elected by your peers to serve as a representative. There are five representatives for each of the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior classes, and also a president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and public relations officer. You can run for one of those executive positions after you've served one year as a representative in student council. Meetings are either weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, depending on who's leading. And there are advisors that are there to help you through the process, but not lead the meetings. Unlike student council in elementary and middle school, in high school you have the power to actually make real changes throughout the school. Some of the things that we do from year to year include planning and setting up the homecoming dance, planning and executing the homecoming parade, which includes Lanier Elementary, Sardis Elementary, and Chester T. Middle School, um, and dealing with all of the other dances except for prom, which is handled by another group. We also deal with a lot of community service outreach projects, as well as teacher appreciation events to show them that we truly appreciate what they're doing. We also tackle any other projects that the administration or teachers throw our way. If you're already in student council at the middle school, then you already have skill sets that are applicable to student council in high school. Planning the eighth grade dance is very similar to what we do for the homecoming dance. And I know you guys do community service projects as well, and we deal with that a lot here. So if you're already in the middle school student council and you like it, then be sure to check out the high school student council. Serving on student council is an honor and a privilege. So if any of those things that I just talked about sound interesting to you, you should apply, but don't apply if you just want it for the prestige. There's a lots of hard work that goes into it.